is Malins. Nice. Recycling through Piatau. Now this oh. pass is crucial. What about that? Randrandra will run it in, but it's all about the quality of the pass. They have carved the Leicester Tigers defence in two for the opening try of the game. That simply oozed class. Advantage. Side entry. And Bristol have got an advantage here. There was a side, side entry Lembran. from Leicester. And quick thinking here by Harry Randall. Oh, that's a super... I was going to say super sidestep. Maybe the defence needed to be stronger. Ooh, Harry Randall try, canters try. through, and it was like a hot knife through butter. The coach check in the background, please. Thank you. Onside, it's good. Malins just about got away from a surging Ellis Genge. Here is Nandolo. Superb response. Barrels into the attempt to tackle from O'Connor. That's got the crowd fired up. Phillips, Genge, Leicester Tigers looking to put on a show now. Wigglesworth, McPhillips. He's done really well. It's a super pass and they're in. Liebenberg, listen to the noise. Jake Woolmer is on for Jan Thomas in the front row for Bristol. The game has just stepped up a notch here. Now look at Malin's goal. They ain't going to stop him from there. That is superb acceleration. Nandolo catching him late after the ball was touched down. Check that after the try scored, please. But Malin's just reminding everyone what a finisher he is. Yeah, nothing in it, mate. Nothing in it. OK. Leicester really trying hard to keep up this acceleration, but they've given it away here. Piers O'Connor, Randrandra, he's not the guy you want now. Into the corner. Leicester have gifted a try to Bristol Bears, the league leaders. Change and scrum out for Bristol. Andy Euron is on. Place of Harry Randall, one of the Six, Bristol try the scorers today. There's an advantage going Six here going for Leicester. Jake and Kerr is going to be in trouble against 16. his old team. And Jake Kerr's off to the bin. You heard Ian Tempest as it went down there say he's going to the bin, whatever happens. Unhappy yeah. return to Wilford Road for Jake Kerr, who's only left here recently as a Leicester okay. player. Thank you. Thank you. Good throw from Montoya. No shortage of vocal encouragement from the home supporters. They've got forward momentum here. The last bit of propulsion over the line. Instantly capitalising on Bristol being a man down. I tell you what, nobody's leaving early here today. All eyes fixed on this dramatic finale. Wigglesworth puts it in. Shove on him by Andy Euron. Oh, I tell you what. He's gone to me. Yellow card is produced. The warning had been given. Chaparro must leave the field. Bristol have to find a tight head here. And their replacement tight head is John Alfoa, but I can't see him anywhere. So if they can't find a tight head, they're going to have to go to uncontested scrums and they will lose another player. Well, they can. If John Alfoa is injured, he can't come back on. So he's a tactical on the card, which is being given in by your team manager, yeah. which is quite clearly here. Yeah. You're now telling me this player is injured and could not return to the field of play. Yes. That's correct. Yes. In that case, the yellow card has caused the uncontested scrums. You will lose an additional player. So you need to pick someone else to lose from the field of play, and you will play with eight in the scrum. So you need to call someone else off yeah. then, please. Yeah. Um, if you can change the card, we've now been told it's now injury, so he could have been injured. They will lose, Steve. John, you just said they Steve. Play. They will. Just said. Steve. Just Steve. Just said. They will lose an additional player, and it will go to the regulations if it needs to. We've just had head coach come down and say he's injured. I want you to confirm he is tactical and can come back onto the field of play. It is a tactical replacement, so he will come back on.
I've just been told by team manager. Thank you. And that's what the card says. So, so this, who do we need off? Then? This has put Ian Tempest in a really off? difficult position. Yeah, and I so think he's dealt with he this extremely so well. Because all he's doing, he's going over and said, You tell me, is this player is injured? He's been told by the head coach, Yes, he's injured. They've now so changed their mind and said, No, he's not injured. Right. So Ian Tempest is following the regulations to a T. Now they go cheek to cheek again. Arfoe has gone for him big time. And the Go for scrambled out and kicks clear. Bristol believe they've got it out with the clock on red. They are celebrating. Ian Tempest blows the full time whistle. But this was almost inevitable given the nature of how this game has reached its conclusion. The game is over. It has finished a 26 points to 23 win for Leicester. But that frankly does fine, not I've tell it's fine. the it's half of that myself. this has ended with a bad taste in the mouth On which one? On which one?